What's up, y'all? Today is Wednesday, July the 22nd. I am actually on my way out. Um, you guys know my last doctor's appointment, I found out the gender of my baby. Well, I didn't actually find out, but I got the envelope. And because I'm such a procrastinator, I haven't even started planning for the gender reveal. So by the time I got the envelope, I could just, you know, send out invitations to tell people, you know, this is when we're having the gender reveal because I already have it planned out. Um, but, you know, being pregnant, you're just super lazy. Um, and I just low key just was procrastinating. So since my sister is still in town, she actually stayed longer, like I told you guys. Um, we're about to go to look at this. Um, pavilion by the lake um, because I really want to try to have my gender reveal by the lake um this one park that has a lake we wanted to do underneath the pavilion but it costs like 500 bucks and I was like that's not worth it um it's just not worth it because I want to do something more extravagant for the baby shower if I'm able to um and they aren't even letting you use the pavilions at that lake anyways because of COVID-19 and everything like that so yeah me and my sister are gonna go look I'm gonna take you guys with me so I guess this is kind of like the process of you guys planning my gender reveal with me I want to do like a full video on that just by myself not in a vlog um so yeah I got to do that um and I also have to ship off I have two packages I have to ship off so the dress and I sold some Levi jeans so you guys see I have like my stickers and everything and I have everything packaged up real nicely I'm gonna throw those in um, priority bags when I get to the post office and that's pretty much all I have to do today I do need to edit Teeks week four because I haven't edited it yet this is my outfit still haven't put this mirror up um, but this is my outfit really is supposed to be down here um this is like the only comfy thing i have while i'm pregnant you guys but it's just i'm wearing this cow shirt i feel like i've showed you guys this before these biker shorts and my jordans um mid ones the grand black ones back some this i don't know why this would be hurting my feet in the back but it's all good i'm trying to i tried to put on some different socks this time course i need to get me something to drink to quench my thirst um sierra which is my sis um so zale's sister-in-law actually came over um monday and we actually practiced the gender reveal like gun painting canvas thing that we want to do for our gender reveal i'm gonna um i link it actually below and like show you guys like a clip it of what we're actually trying to do and achieve um she actually took it home to figure it out because we couldn't figure it out when we got here so she said she's gonna keep practicing um i wanted to do fireworks but i think if i use this venue we can only do the venue for till until um six o'clock and that's not late enough to do fireworks. I tried to look for Airbnbs for my gender reveal. So that way I could just have the house on the lake. Um, like Airbnbs on the lake. Have the house on the lake and do fireworks. They're all booked. Um, so I don't know. My last resort is just going to, like I said, be in my mom's backyard. Maybe do fireworks if we don't get the painting thing to work out. Or worst comes to worst i'll just leave it to do the little smoke bomb things i really wanted to do something a little bit more creative because everybody does that but you know what worst comes to worst that's where we're gonna have to just leave it to so until then we shall see i did give me a gatorade so yeah but yeah we shall see all right y'all so we had absolutely no success with the finding like places to have for my gender reveal by the lake um no parks are really a lot of the parks are saying that they're not renting out pavilions or gazebos or anything like that due to COVID. so it's so hot that thing burnt almost burnt me 
So my last resort is I'm probably just going to have the reveal here at my mom's house. Her house is pretty big. Um, her backyard is a pretty big size. Um, so I'm probably just going to do it in the backyard to save money. Um, and then hopefully by the time October runs around, I'll be able to have a baby shower somewhere and just try to right now be looking for places to hold, have a baby shower um, in October if things get better. If not, again, I'm thinking about renting out an Airbnb for the baby shower and maybe try to do that by the lake or whatever like that. So yeah, for now, my plan is to just have it at my mom's house in her backyard. Um, I almost cried. I was kind of like getting really emotional and I was about to just say, just forget doing the gender reveal. Um, but I'm like, you know, my sister was trying to make it better. She was like, you know, we can just rent like a tent and stuff like that and like set it up really nice and stuff and do it in the backyard and it'll still be a success. So I think that, that is probably the route that I'm going to have to take. So now I'm about to get ready to go to the post office since that was a fail. And the ladies who were at the places were really rude too. But anyways, I'm going to run to the post office, drop these packages off. And then that's probably pretty much going to conclude my day. I might come back over to my mom's house, but I'm like really not sure. So yeah, pretty boring you guys. I'm always like running errands and it's like literally, I don't really be doing much. All right, people. So I am at Goodwill. Cause this goodwill is actually open that's where i am at um i need to clean my car windows but yeah i'm at goodwill i'm about to see what i can find in here because i need to add some new stuff to the vintage shop um because things are selling and i need to just add new stuff anyways um so yeah i'm about to go in here have my mask on um i need some gloves here it looks like they have a 50% off sale going on so um i'm gonna take some stuff in the fitting room too hey y'all welcome back to the blog oh this lighting is bleaky though all right so it is currently friday july the 24th i'm out here with my Reese, when you got on a bonnet <laughs> if you want to get in the camera with your bonnet i don't get i've been in plenty with my bonnet <laughs> anyways I just got, I can't show y'all, well, I can show y'all at the top. I just got my YouTube plaque. Woo okay, so I just got my plaque in the mail. I don't want to show y'all the address, but I just got my plaque in the mail. I'm about to let Reese. the camera. Well, I don't know if I should let you hold the camera. I hold it the other day. Just make sure you got it in focus, Reese. I will. Lord have mercy. It's Reese B, child. Anyways, um, you want to do it up against the thing? Yeah. Wait, up against what? Yeah, bring me that chair over there. We about to, I'm about to sit in the chair while she record me. Or I could have just sat on the chair and put my camera up on the thing. On what? On the, what's in? right here? Yeah, I could sit over here. Right here. Wait, where are you getting? It might be better to sit on there. Yeah, because uh, Reese, I want to be able to see myself. Got my plaque in the mail. I'm so excited. So I'm about to get ready to open this for y'all. I wanted to open it on camera so y'all could see. I can't believe that I got it. It took so long to get here. <laughs> but we're finally here. I'm dead. Okay, hold on. Dang. Am I opening this right, y'all? Oh, yeah. My sister and my niece are right here, y'all, too. Yeah, hey, y'all. So. I just requested this. Really, people open. always complain about them taking a lot of stuff. This is what it looks like when you open it. Okay. Three, two. Oh wait, it's not showing. Okay, it come with a little. What do you say? Bucks. Congratulations on your subscriber milestone. We are honored to take part in recognizing your achievement and want your experience to be exceptional. This award was inspected and packaged with great care, Rick. So they get you a card, and then it says. Oh my God. They give you a little note. It says, you have just done something that very few YouTuber creators accomplished. You had an astonishing 100,000 people subscribe to your channel. And then they give you a... Should I read the whole thing? No. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. They just send you, like, a letter, y'all. Basically. So, yeah. Um. 
I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Y'all look at it. It's so pretty. It's supposed to say Miss Fabulous Teeks, but it's I put I put Takara on you it because I ch off. I changed my name, y'all. Yeah. So yeah. But this is what it looks Ooh. like. Presented to Takara One for passing 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. I got this. Why is it? Oh, that's the thing. So this is what it looks like. It's so cute. Oh, I'm gonna put a video. I I took a video. So yeah, this wouldn't have been possible without everybody. Without y'all, without you watching, I probably would have never gotten this plaque if you wouldn't have subscribed to my channel. So I just want to say thank you to every last one of y'all who subscribed. I feel like I'm giving a, a speech um, for I running like a Grammy. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, I thank y'all for subscribing to my channel. And so I guess the next goal is going to be to get to that one million. Okay, and get that gold hurry, plaque. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Ooh, okay. <laughs> But yeah. Here, the recognition by allowing your team to purchase a personalized creator award. Oh. oh. Okay. I don't know what that means. But I guess so. But it said, we know that numbers on YouTube can get really big, but we hope that you don't lose sight of the reality behind the six-digit milestone. Each and every person who has subscribed to your channel has been touched by what you created. They were inspired, challenged, or entertained. You achieve this milestone with hard work, pre perseverance, and probably a healthy sense of humor, too. What you've accomplished can't be taken away from you, and we like to recognize you and all your hard work with this Silver Creator Award, a small token of our esteem and respect. Um, we know that you don't do this for rewards. You do it because you have, to, you have a drive to create and share, and because you found an audience who cares. Believe us when we say that we can't wait to see what you do next. A million subscribers may seem a long way off right now. Yeah, that's true. But <laughs> but you're closer than you think, and we're rooting for you. Congratulations. Uh, yours sincerely, Susan. I don't know how to say her name, but it's from the oh, CEO of YouTube. Nice so, yeah. Gigi would have been so proud. I know. Like, my grandma would have been so proud. She, she got the big class. Yeah, I know. This was supposed to go to grandma. Yeah, yeah. she, really she would have been Yeah, like, I was telling her. I was like, when I get it, I'm going to give it to you. Like. Aww. So like, yeah, Miss Nisha got the big plaque. <laughs> okay. Uh, so yeah, I guess this is for you, Granny. This is for you. I feel like I'm saying this is she for you, like Granny. Miss Nisha got the big, big plaque. Ooh, good job. Okay. Job so yeah, y'all. That's it. I just wanted to open this on camera so y'all can see. I'm glad I recorded it because yeah, my sister was trying to just get me to just open it without recording it. So. But yeah, I'm going to take some pictures of my plaque, post it on my Insta. Y'all can go uh, check my Instagram out. It's Takara One. Um, so yeah, y'all see pictures on my stories and Instagram and stuff like that. So yeah, let me see what you got. Oh, that was cute, Reese. Yeah, I went, I, mine wouldn't tell me how to say boomerang, so I posted them. Because I didn't know if you liked it or not. Oh, that was cute. Reese got a video. Yeah, y'all go check it out. What is up, you guys? Today is Thursday, July the 30th. It's actually the end of the month. Um, so, yeah, I am actually doing having a shoot day today for a timeless Takara. If you guys did not know, I do have a vintage shop, um, a vintage boutique. You guys can check out my Instagram and my website. I will leave it in the links below. But I felt motivated to have a shoot day because I went and bought some new arrival pieces. Look at me and my bump. I went and bought some new arrival pieces to shoot to add to the website. So I am just doing that right now while I watch Shameless. Um, I haven't picked up the camera to vlog this week, um, but I do have footage for this week's vlog um, that I'm gonna put up this Saturday. So I probably need to start uh, like editing that um, tonight so I can get that up. up. I already put Teeks Week 4 up so you guys can go check that out. But yeah, I'm trying to get back on schedule for Teeks Week. So I'll start filming for Teeks Week 5. Or I might put this in Teeks Week 5. But I'll start filming for that tomorrow or just include Teeks Week 5. This in Teeks Week 5. So yeah, um... I have been like getting a lot of like gender reveal stuff done. I told you guys that, but yeah, today is a shoot day, so we'll talk about that in another video because I actually want to do a 
you guys helping me plan my gender reveal party um video so yeah but yeah this is the stuff um i cannot wait till my couch cover comes but yeah i just have everything laid out my outfits all laid out of how i'm gonna film i've usually if you guys have seen my instagram videos like my igt videos i film a like new arrivals igt video igtv video and then i take product photos for each product and then i post them to kind of like hype you know everybody up for the new arrivals and then i add stuff to the website so that's usually how i do it i have a couple of accessories here um this is like all my jewelry like my earrings and stuff i always need to the lip gloss so i'm using that i have my signature sunnies that i always wear in my um shoots um and then these new frames that i actually bought and then in here i actually have um, a collection of different frames i think these are really cute too and vintagey so yeah i just have a bunch of sunglasses to use for accessories my mom bought me these are actually really cute some purses um i actually need to get some more purses and then i have all the other like items from the shop in here which i need to reorganize i've been kind of like going through it but then this is like also one of my um signature belts that i wear in my um like product photos and this is becoming another signature belt that you guys will see in product photos and yeah i have the mirror right here um just so i can like try stuff on and then i was getting kind of mad because i don't have white walls anymore and I was starting to get upset with my boyfriend. I'm like, this is why I went at White Walls for my product photos. But I'm just going to work with this. These, this, these two walls make it work. Um, the floors are actually really pretty. So, yeah. But I have my little setup right here. So, I have my tripod. I have my laptop on this little chair thing. And then I have my light. And then, so I'll record the IGTV video in this corner and try to capture my pictures in this corner as well um and then i'm thinking about actually using my mannequin um i'm thinking about using my mannequin in some of my product photos as well um just to like do something a little bit different especially since i'm pregnant there's going to be some um product photos that i'm not going to be able to like actually try on and stuff like that or put on like right now these pant these shorts need to go up but i'm just going to snap them in do a quick little video in them real quick and a quick little photo and then take them off because my baby is like hell no mommy hell no okay you was really tripping <laughs> you was really tripping so hopefully baby teeks corroborates with me for like five seconds just to get the pictures but yeah like i said i'm gonna actually put my mannequin up and capture some product photos too and with some of the old items too because you want to have like a variety of different photos to post so yeah i also have some of my shoes down here that i'm gonna use these are like some old guest shoes that i used to work in and then I have a bunch of my other shoes in um, California, so I'm going to just have to like kind of like work with what I got, probably use like my Air Force Ones and stuff like that, so yeah. So I'm about to get ready to shoot, I'm going to turn on some music, um, I need to figure out which song I'm going to use for my IGTV video because I usually like to play that in the background while I'm shooting so that way it can match up with my editing um, when I go to edit. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to figure that out and then yeah, I'll come back to you guys in a few. What's up y'all? It is currently July the, I mean, ooh, ooh, I'm way off. It is currently Tuesday, August the 4th. Where does the time go? I'm still in July and we're definitely in August. But yeah, it's currently Tuesday, August the 4th. Um, y'all see me in this shirt probably last teeks week but you know what 
let's just be quiet. Some of my new subscribers don't know that, so shh, don't tell anybody. But yeah, so didn't do much this weekend. Um, it's been very hot in our apartment because our air conditioning went out. We've been waiting for like a good week for our air conditioning man to come and fix our air conditioner, but they have not done that yet. So I've kind of been just really not in the mood to vlog, not in the mood to do anything. But today I actually woke up a little bit late. It's actually 11 o'clock and babe just texted me. He forgot his debit card. So he asked me, can I bring him some food to work or whatever like that and i'm just not seeing his text he texts me at 10 it's like 11 something so i just threw on this shirt um these shorts and my forces i wear this shirt a lot because it's comfortable and it's like the really like the only thing that fits me i really need to go pregnancy clothes shopping you guys um so yeah but that's currently what i am rocking since i am about to go get him food and get myself some food and baby take some food as well i'm just going to run out to the stores and do some more shopping probably for my gender reveal which is on august the 22nd i'm going to do a whole video on that um probably when i get back and then i need to get some home decor stuff because i need to finish like actually getting our apartment together i've been saying that for weeks for months and i haven't been getting our apartment together i've been waiting on my couch cover to come in come in but i told zell this weekend we definitely need to go get things that we need for the apartment but i'm just gonna go try to find like little knickknacks i did order some stuff on amazon but i feel like i have been telling you guys i went to home um home goods they didn't really have anything that i liked um i just have really haven't been finding anything in the stores i don't know if it's just because of coronavirus they don't really stock up on stuff like ross marshall's they don't really have things um so yeah I've, it's been a struggle for me but i am going to drive out a little bit further they got rid of our target here um where i live at but i'm gonna drive out a little bit further um to f go to a target to go to target and like go to a different area and go shopping and i'm also going to go to the goodwill today and again to see if i can find um some little unique thrifting items because i think last time i went to the thrift shop i got some items items for the vintage shop but i didn't get have time to look at the home decor stuff because i had to go get zell from work so now that his car is working i don't really have to worry about him and I can um, just kind of go out and do my thing. All right, y'all, I forgot to record while I was in the Goodwill, <laughs> but we did some freaking damage in there, okay? Like, literally did some damage in the Goodwill. I got a few little like um, home decor things and I got a lot of new like inventory pieces, like really good pieces. They have some really good stuff in there. So there are my bags. This is the Goodwill. So yeah, I'm about to go to the next Goodwill. Um, I need to get me something to drink. And then I'm about to go a little bit further out so I can go to Target um, and go to like some other stores and like Goodwills. I think all the Salvation Armies are closed. But yeah, I'm gonna go to my next Goodwill. I think they have two other Goodwills where I'm going. So I might hit up both of them because it's still kind of early um because i want to find some more home decor stuff yeah it's like really early so it's gonna take me like 30 minutes to get where i'm going um but yeah so this man is like literally staring at me but yeah so we're about to do that and then i will um i'll try to vlog when i get into the next goodwill because i didn't really vlog while i was in here i kind of forgot so yeah, when I get into the next Google, I'll try to vlog or go in the dressing room and show y'all some of the pieces. All right, y'all, I finally made it to the Goodwill. I forgot about this Goodwill. I had to put it in my GPS, but this is like actually one of my favorite Goodwills because it's uh, called a Last Chance Goodwill. So basically like they have the regular Goodwill over here and then they have the Last Chance Goodwill. But I like to go in the Last Chance Goodwill first because they have like really, really like, like things that they feel like like when they get when they get new stuff in, they put everything in the last chance goodwill, and then they have like ticketed days. So when I go in here, I'll see like what like the tag 
today is like what monday is because sometimes it'll be like everything in the store is like 99 cent or everything in the store is like a dollar or like 75 cents like it's really really cheap so i like shopping in this one so we're just gonna go in here i don't know why my lighting is like super bad but yeah we're gonna go in here i had a little bit of juice and i had a chewy bar we had got new way earlier um so yeah, I'm going to go in here. I'm going to try to vlog as much as I can while I'm in here. And show y'all some of the stuff that I pick up. So it is Thursday, August the 6th. I'm looking kind of rough, a dress down. Just got on my chill hat, me and baby teeks. Um, yeah, these are like the only pants that fit me. So <laughs> yeah, I'm rocking these again, but there is the belly. Um, so yeah, uh, I currently just got back from my mom's house because I had to go pick up my bar cart that got shipped from Amazon. I have been waiting around. It had like been got here. It said it was supposed to arrive today. It got here a little bit early. So it was supposed to get here at eight, but it got here early. But I had to wait around because I had to wait for the air conditioning man to finally come to basically not do his job. Um, he put an air conditioning unit in our window that's not the solution sir we need you to fix our air so he was doing a lot of much of nothing because he didn't do his job and he was talking about he's gonna come back tomorrow just a bunch of bs so anyways but yeah i just went and picked up the bar carts um so yeah i'm going to set it up um or i might wait till zell gets here but i kind of just want to like play around with it um so yeah, it's from First Time um, and Co. American Designer. It's a gold bar cart. I got gold to kind of match our emerald green kind of theme because we're going with like emerald green, gold, gray, um, and black. Still waiting for my couch cover to come. But yeah, I did go get some Wendy's. I got some Wendy's. And apparently, Zell is going to get somebody to do the other side of our floor. Because it looks bad, y'all. Like, the other side of our floor looks bad. So, he wants to um, put some more tile down. And I've been watching a bunch of, like, DIY stuff. Um, I went home to pour shopping. As you guys know, in, my, um, in the previous scenes, I went home to pour shopping. And I kind of picked up a bunch of stuff. I didn't show y'all nothing that i picked up yet because i think i'm gonna do a home decor haul and then i'm gonna do some like home decor videos um and i found like a bunch of different diys that i want to do um like i was literally getting ready to order an area rug for our living room and for our bedroom but i think i'm just gonna diy it because i see that and then i've been trying to order a bookshelf to put right here a black one from ikea but I can't want too much for their delivery fee. Um, and we don't have an uh, Ikea near us. Um, the Ikea that we have is going to be like all the way in Atlanta. And I still stay about like an hour away from Atlanta. So, yeah. I'm like, I think I'm just going to maybe try to DIY me a bookshelf. Um, see how that goes. I kind of want to DIY me an entertainment center and a coffee table. There's a bunch of stuff that I want to DIY now that I'm thinking about it. Because I've been watching this girl on YouTube. I have to link her 
videos down in the description box but she does like a lot of diy like home decor stuff and i'm like hmm diying might not be a bad idea so yeah uh, she even diy'd a bar cart out of a stroller i'm like okay i'm not doing that that's doing a little bit too much i'm just gonna order me one um because this one that i found was like really inexpensive compared to the other gold ones that i've seen online they usually run for like 300 i only paid like 140 dollars for mine so yeah i'm gonna link mine in the description box so y'all can see it but once i set it up i'll show you guys um but yeah i, I probably might just wait and show y'all when i do my home decor haul so if y'all want to see the bar cards like you are going to probably have to watch my home decor haul depending on how i feel i might give y'all a little sneak peek of my bar cart or i'll show y'all like it already dressed up in my decor haul yeah maybe like it decorated in my decor haul but i'll show y'all the finishing look once i get it up but yeah so that's all i'm doing about to eat because baby seeks is kind of hungry right now eat a little bit of lunch um finish working on some of the stuff that i was working on i'm i'm probably not gonna have time to like bust out any pictures or anything like that i was hoping that to like since i wasn't gonna be able to do it today because of the airman coming that i would get to do it tomorrow because he would be gone he would fix the air he'd be gone i can film some product photos doesn't look like i'm gonna be able to do that tomorrow either because he's claims he's coming back tomorrow so that's kind of irritating so yeah so i'm just gonna probably edit a, um some videos or and get this bar card up so yeah let's do that and yeah and i'll see y'all in a few So this is how it looks when you uncover it. So now we just gotta put it together. It has all the hardware parts to it. This is the circle part. This is our hardware. I'm gonna have to cut that off. the other circle half and then we have our glass glass parts that we probably gonna have to put together yeah well they made sure that nothing broke which is really good because I've heard really bad stories where people say they get glass items and the stuff comes shattered, things like that. So, so this stuff is not shattered at all, which I am very satisfied with. I'll be one of those people going back on Amazon to leave a review. So now we just gotta figure out how to put this together. Hopefully it comes with some type of manual. Maybe in the hardware box. All right, let's figure this out. <laughs> Okay, it says we're supposed to have two parts A and eight parts B, but we only have nine of parts B and no parts A, which is actually kind of concerning because there's nothing else in this box. We did, we do have all the wheels. So it's supposed to be two of each. We have the bar, we have parts three and four, we have parts one and two, and then I have parts C and D. The only thing I'm missing is 
instead of having an extra B, I need parts A. So, I don't know what that's about. Um, that's going to be very disappointing if it's missing parts. Um, hopefully, maybe I can just go out and get whatever I need. Um, but, that's very concerning. I don't see anything else in the box. So, I'm just going to try to work with it and see. Um, and see what happens. That's weird. But, okay, y'all. So, false alarm. Parts A were actually in the little bar they were like screwed in the bar so that's good and then i guess i just have an extra um part b which works so okay we're good we got an extra part b just in case we lose one so that's cool too so let's go ahead and try to throw this thing together real quick and it seems pretty simple this is the only instructions you get so seems pretty simple Okay, y'all, I just finished the bar cart. It took me about 35 minutes, 40, 35 minutes to put it together. Really simple, but probably like one of the easiest assembles that I've ever done. But this is how it looks. Um, the only thing that I expected with this bar cart, I thought it was going to be a little bit taller. It's actually shorter than me. Um, so that's the only thing with that. But overall, I actually love it. Um, I'm going to definitely decorate it. I need to wipe it off because I have like some of my prints on here, my fingerprints on here. So I need to use some Windex and wipe it down. But it's really beautiful. I really like how the gold pops on the um, wall. So I'm thinking about maybe, I don't know if I want to put it right here. Um, because this is like the doorway. I wanted to put like a bench right here. I was thinking about putting it right there, but I really like how it pops on this wall. Um, so I don't know. I'm gonna get Zell's opinion and see what he thinks. But overall, it's super cute, super affordable. I'll leave the link to uh, my Amazon link to my bar cart in the description box. So if you guys want to purchase this same one, you guys can. Um, click the link and buy it. Of course, you guys know I get commission off of if you guys uh, buy it through my link or whatever like that. But for now, I think I'm just going to put it in the corner um, because it looks best right there. Even though I want my I wanted my floor mirror to go right here in the corner, but I'm actually kind of liking how this looks. So yeah, we'll see you guys. We will see. Ya. Um, so now I'm just about to clean up all of this mess that I made and kind of just chill out until Zill gets home. And then I will probably decorate this in, you guys will see it like fully decorated in my home decor video.